Our in-depth team coverage continues now. Tonight, we're also learning more about what the two suspects accused of killing David Maine may be driving. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado continues our live in-depth team coverage from Woonsocket with what he's uncovered. Alex? Well, Mike, police are looking for two people of interest. It's not clear if one or both are the shooters, but authorities say they took off in a box truck. It was shortly after 11 Monday morning when gunfire erupted at the Citizens Bank on Diamond Hill Road. Rick Palazzo lives behind the bank. I was here sleeping in the bed and I heard pop, pop, pop over there from the bank. A man family identifies as 49-year-old David Maine was shot at the bank. Maine, a manager at the nearby Shell gas station, was on his way to deposit store money when he was gunned down. Here you could see a body laying or a gentleman laying in front of the, the building. He looked unresponsive. The shooter or shooters ran through the adjacent Rock Ridge apartment complex. Palazzo saw a man scale a fence. He jumped the fence and then he, when he jumped the fence, his hood fell down and I saw the back of his red hat. Police say they are looking for two males, one in his 20s, the other in his 30s, that may be in a Ford E450 box truck like this one. These persons of interest could be dangerous, or the people inside that vehicle could be dangerous. And as evidence is taken away in the hunt for the shooter or shooters, people wonder who could be so heartless. I hope they catch him, and I hope they do to him proper, exactly what he deserves. And police are looking for a 1996 Ford E450 box truck with Rhode Island plate 60867. We've, we've also learned tonight they're looking for a red Grand Am with plate number AT7. It is unclear how that second vehicle is related. If you have any information on either vehicle or the people of interest, you're urged to call Woonsocket Police. And that is where we're live tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex Toprato. Eyewitness News.